feel the need. The need for speed. Ow! If you have the need for speed, then Tesla has you covered. And if you have an extra $2,000 laying around, Tesla can get you there about a half a second faster with their Acceleration Boost software upgrade. Teslas are very different cars in so many ways. And one of them is that you can make your car go faster with a simple press of a button on your phone. In long range Tesla Model Ys and 3s, you could purchase the Acceleration Boost upgrade to get your car to go from zero to 60 about a half a second faster for the low, low price of $2,000. Yep, two grand, and that's a lot of money. Now, after you ask yourself if you have that need for speed, you also need to ask yourself, do you think it's worth the money? Now, before we answer that question, let's look at some comparative numbers. The Tesla Model 3 and Y are already fast cars compared to most cars on the road. The long range versions of the cars can go zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds, and that's quite fast. To put that number into perspective, only about two to 5% of all cars on the road in the US can go zero to 60 in under five seconds. But what if you wanna go faster? Let's say 0.6 seconds faster. Well, that's where the acceleration boost comes in. The acceleration boost upgrade can unlock the power and get you from zero to 60 in just 4.2 seconds. Now that might not seem like much, but less than 1% of all cars on the road can go zero to 60 that fast. And most of those cars are very expensive, super exotic cars. But $2,000 is not a small amount of money for most people. So let's look at this from a more traditional point of view. If you wanted to make your gas car go a half a second faster from zero to 60, especially at these levels, many people would tell you it would cost you far more than $2,000 in upgrades to get you there. So from that perspective, $2,000 doesn't seem like a bad deal. However, it's still hard for me to feel good about this purchase. The truth is my Tesla Model Y already has everything that it needs to go this fast. It's only being held back based on the software. And that kind of rubs me the wrong way. It feels like that everything you buy these days comes with a subscription tacked on. And if you're like me, you're pretty much fed up with it. For me anyway, paying for ones and zeros feels harder than paying for something that I can put in my hands. Perhaps that's why you probably wouldn't pay $5 for an app on your phone, but you won't hesitate dropping more than that on a Starbucks coffee. Now don't get me wrong. I fully support paying for software because as a software developer myself, I know just how hard it is and how much work goes into creating good software. However, I, I could be wrong here. The acceleration boost feels more like a setting that could be changed or turned on compared to some sort of software that took a ton of time and effort to develop. Now, assuming I decide to take the plunge, getting this enabled in my car is super easy perhaps too easy. Simply open the phone and run the Tesla app. You can go to the upgrade store or you could go to the referral store to get the upgrade. I was fortunate enough to have enough referral credits to cash in for the accelerator boost. So the decision process for me was a lot easier. Simply find it, tap on it, pay or redeem. And in my case, I have two Model Ys. I just had to select what car I wanted it on. After completing the transaction, the car enabled the feature almost immediately. And you can tell that you have it by going to the car menu and you will now see sport instead of standard. Turn on sport mode and you are good to go to fulfill that need for speed. Now, there are a lot of videos out there that show you the numbers before and after, and I'm not going to do that here, but I can tell you that the 0.6 second improvement is 100% real, and you can definitely feel it, especially off the line and under 30 miles an hour. This boost isn't for 100% fun. It has some real world implications as well. Being able to accelerate faster could be very useful like quick lane changes, merging onto highways, and reacting to unexpected or dangerous situations. For some, the thrill of instant acceleration will be worth every penny, and for others, the standard performance might be more than enough. So which camp do I fall in? I have to admit that I'm probably more on the latter than the former. Yes, it's fun. Yes, it's cool, but for the most part, I have never had a need for it. Now, I might change my mind if I find myself in a situation where having the extra hit of speed will be the difference between avoiding a collision or not. Now, if that happens, I am sure I will probably feel differently about the upgrade. In the end, you need to decide what's best for you. What do you think? Is it worth it? Would you pay $2,000 for it? Leave a comment below and let me know. And while you're down there, please do me a favor and tap that like button. And if you like what you see here, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.